case since a lot of students very confused about the median formula in the statistic chapter so today I, I'm going to explain what is this formula medians okay I'll explain what is L what is N what is F or what is the SM and the C okay before that let me briefly tell you what is the meaning for median okay actually me median okay the meaning is actually the same with the middle okay normally mediums use he used these words in the static chapters will means the middle value so you want to find the middle value for example i give a ungrouped data mean actually the data is not grouped in the class okay so ungrouped data let's say i got three five six seven and eleven okay i got the five value here so what is my median value so very simple you will calculate the middle one so let's say this is the first value second value third value fourth value and the fifth value so obviously the median value will be six therefore my medium medium here will be six okay so okay but then in the group data oh, this is not the data okay for the group data how are you going to find medium if the data is already categorized by different class let's say 0 to 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 and let's say 30 to 39 and then he okay so let's say this is the class and then this is the frequency okay you maybe give 5 7 9 and, and six okay he give you frequency he give you class so how to find the median okay so before you find the median you have to find the total frequency first then you divide half only you can find out the median will locate in which class here so we let's add up here we will, we will got five eight nine and six we got 20 the total will be 27 so total frequency will be 27 so let's say you you divide 27 okay when you got the odd number you okay this is odd number you want to find the median you have to plus you have to plus one divide by two okay so you will get what you will get plus one 28 divide by two you got the median value actually at the 14 the, the 14th value so you have to find okay means the the 14 value where where the 14 value will locate so you have to calculate here is 5 12 so actually the medium means the 14th values were located in this cluster so this is called median class okay so very very simple if you got the this is odd number if you got even number you just divide by two then you can get the median value but then you got odd number plus one divide by two okay so let's say you know you now you know this is the median class okay so this formula actually help you find more details about median class means actually in the median class in the median class what is the exact value for for it because here he only mentioned he will fall in the like 20 to 29 here but then this formula actually can help you to find out 20 to 29 which values uh it will have in the 20 to 29 okay so let's go to this formula okay let's say we have this class now okay this is the mark 
1 to 10, 11 to 20, 20 to 30, 31 to 40, and then we got the different frequency, and then sum up of the frequency, you got 40. Okay, okay, so when we see these kinds of table, the first thing, if you want to find median, you have to find median located in the risk class. So what to do, we just divide by 2, means the median will be 20th, 20th, okay? So means the median will locate us in the in the value 20th. So, okay, so 20th will almost locate us here. So now this is the median class. Okay, since we have this is the median class, okay, then we can start to apply this formula. Okay, the L, what is the meaning for L here? L will be the lower boundary of the me median class. So L will be the lower boundary of the median class. So how we get the lower boundary? Very simple. You use the lower limit plus the upper limits of the pre previous class divided by 2. So just 31 plus 30 divided by 2, you will got 30.5. So this is the lower boundary of the median class. So L will be 30.5. Okay, what's the N? N will be the total frequency. Total frequency here is 40. So I just write 40. Okay, so what is F? Okay, this capital F will mean the cumulative frequency before the median class. You see the cumulative frequency? Okay, he want before, this is median class, before the me, me, median class is 17. Okay, it's the cumulative frequency before the median class. So, it's 17. Okay, and then what is the FM? Okay, actually, the M here stands for median. So, he want the frequency for the median class. Frequency for the me, median class will be 13. Okay, be careful huh? because some students will straight away take 30. 30 is the cumulative frequency. This one, only one frequency for the median class will be 13. Okay, what is C? C actually is the class size. Mean how big your class here. Okay, how to find the class size? You just use, you just use uh, upper boundary minus lower boundary so okay let's say we can simply take one class okay we just take the median class one the upper boundary will be 40.5 minus lower boundary will be 30.5 so, therefore we will get 10 I mean actually the class size now will be 10 okay because some some students straight away use 40 minus 31 then you will get 9 then then you have got wrong okay so class size here remember use upper boundary minus lower boundary then you, you will get the class size is 10 so after that you got after you got all this you just substitute you can get median so let's say i write median okay median okay use the symbol m will equal to a lower boundary okay this is lower boundary of the median class 30.5 so 30.5 plus n will be the total frequency so it's 40 divided by 2 minus 13 cumulative frequency before the median class minus 17 i put the bracket remember to put the bracket divide by frequency for the median class frequency for the median class is divided by 13 and multiplied by 10 okay then you just solve this one you can get the correct answer so okay so maybe i just use calculator to solve okay so let's say okay this one i write 30.5 here plus okay this one 40 divided by 2 we got 20 20 minus 17 we got we got 3 so let's say 3 divided by 13 and then multiple and then multiple 10 so we will got 
plus 2.307 okay so after that after we plus actually we will got the value will be the 32.807 for median okay means actually the median value will fall at 32 point something okay because actually we know the median class is 31 to 40 but then this value will tell you exactly the median actually fall in 32.807 this is the way to use the median formula so I just explain one more time L will stand for lower boundary of the median class so this one will be 30.5 N is the total frequency the capital F will be the cumulative frequency before the median class so will be 17 just this one plus this one plus this one okay and then the small f with the M is just frequency for the median class frequency for the median class is 13 and the C here will stand for class size remember class size must you upper boundary minus lower boundary that's all then you just put in this formula and if not mistaken this formula is given when you have your SPM exam thank you for this video